Now, yesterday I learned that, once again, there is a sort of rumor out there that George Lucas will be returning to Star Wars, which we've been hearing rumors about on and off for the past several years at this point, pretty much ever since things didn't go so uh, great with the sequel trilogy. There have been rumors Lucas is going to return to save Lucasfilm. However, this time, the source may be a bit more credible than the usual trust me bro, it comes from someone inside Lucasfilm source that we usually kind of get. This time it comes from Roger Christian. And if you don't know who he is, he was a set director on the original Star Wars film, or as we tend to call it today, A New Hope. And he also worked as a second unit director on Return of the Jedi, as well as on The Phantom Menace. In other words, yeah, this is a guy that knows and has worked with George Lucas in the past, and sure, could very well still be friends with him today and in touch with him, or know people who know him or would know his plans. Basically, again, it's not just some random report coming from a nameless source, but from someone who absolutely has worked with and knows George Lucas. However, before you potentially get excited about this news, assuming you care and would like to see George come back in some capacity to Star Wars, well, let's see what Christian actually had to say. And this comes from an interview he did with Star Wars Theory. And I'll just play this short clip for you here and now, and then we will discuss it. But I think he's coming back, you know. I'm pretty sure now that he's what? doing a series. I think that they're now bringing him into the fold. From what I hear, because there's a Star Wars live action series coming. And I've got, I've got a strong suspicion that George will have something to do with that. That's what I thinking is. And I might be prophesying. Are you pulling I'm... my leg? No, no. That's what I had heard and read. And, and I don't know from anything apart from I'm prophesizing that might happen because you've seen he's been very physically present there he's been down on the sets yeah, yeah, and everything yeah. okay so honestly I don't know how concrete any of that really sounded he even admits he thinks this is happening and that he is sort of prophesizing here he also doesn't say what the project is or why it's something Lucas would be so interested in and sure, he could intentionally be vague because he doesn't want to get in any potential trouble by outing a source or maybe a friend that he has within Lucasfilm, or getting that source or friend into trouble, I should say. But I mean, if, and it is a big if, George Lucas were coming back to Star Wars in any sort of significant way, beyond showing up on set here and there and taking some pictures, which is what he normally does, and I don't know what Christian was talking about when he said he's been very present lately, I don't have a ton of inside sources or anything, but I do certainly keep my ear to the ground and I have people always sending me stuff and, yes, sometimes supposed inside information and sometimes those things even do come to pass. And I have personally heard nothing about Lucas being around any more than usual. He generally does or has shown up on set for a lot of the Disney Plus shows, for example. He's always been doing that. But anyway, if George Lucas were coming back in any sort of significant way, it would obviously be huge, huge news, and they, Disney and Lucasfilm, they would want a lot of pomp and circumstance around the announcement. They would make a big, big deal out of it, and would not be happy to see it spoiled in an interview somewhere. And so again, Christian may be vague because he just doesn't want to anger Disney and Lucasfilm or get anyone into trouble, or he could just flat out be speculating and there is absolutely nothing to this beyond him thinking this is going to happen for his own reasons. I mean, he doesn't go into what kind of capacity he would actually be coming back in. He said he would be doing a series and they're bringing him back into the fold. And so what exactly does that mean? And I suppose it could mean anything from he is going to sit down for an afternoon or less with whoever is creating this new series and he's going to give them some input or some advice or whatever. Or it could be him writing an outline or showing up on set every so often or reading through some scripts or a million other things that sure would be cool to know he played a part in, but I don't think would qualify as him returning to Star Wars per se. Though, sure, I suppose there is a chance it could be him given more or less kind of full control of a series. But that's not how Christian made it sound at all. He said there's a series coming up already planned that he thinks Lucas would be interested in, which kind of makes it sound like, if true, Lucas kind of heard about something already in the works. Certainly he gets to know what's going on at Lucasfilm still. It could be something that maybe we haven't heard about yet or that hasn't been officially announced, and he wants to work on it again in some capacity. 
And the only thing we know that is coming that is still very early in production that he could kind of get on board with, keeping in mind things like Skeleton Crew are coming as well as Andor Season 2, but both of those are done filming and in post-production and all that. And so the only thing we know that is coming that is still very early is Ahsoka Season 2. And I don't know what it'd be about that show that would bring Lucas back in. Now sure, he played a part in the creation of Ahsoka, she was his initial idea, but I don't know that he would want to come back just for that character. And sure, Anakin is also apparently going to be in Season 2, so maybe that lures him in. But the only thing that I could think of that would really have a strong possibility of getting him interested, though I'm not claiming I know the mind of George Lucas, but Season 2 of the show is going to deal with the very nature of the Force itself, it seems, considering we saw statues of the Mortis Gods and some sort of beacon that Balin was going after. He even talks about the beginning and all these kind of very mysterious and cryptic things that tend to imply we're going to learn some cool stuff about the Force. And so maybe Lucas wants to come in and give his input on all of that. Not so much that he's really coming back to the show or going to create it, he just really wants to be involved in how everything with the Force is going to be unveiled, if you will. And certainly the Mortis arc from the Clone Wars is one of the most debated Star Wars stories ever when it comes to implications on just how the Force works. So that happening, Lucas adding more to the lore would be interesting. I would love to know what he uh, has cooking with Mortis. The other possibility is, again, it is a series that has yet to be announced, and when it is announced, so too will Lucas's involvement with it be announced. Now, what that might be, your guess is as good as mine. It could be any number of things that maybe Lucas is interested in doing. And I suppose it's not impossible he does want to tell another Star Wars story or heavily contribute to one, one last story. Keeping in mind, he will be 80 years old in a few weeks, and I don't know how much he wants to be doing the day-to-day -day stuff anymore, but certainly, maybe he wants to contribute something to some sort of project and be a part of Star Wars once again. Not to mention, I do think that if Lucas wanted to get involved, if he does want to get involved, if there is any truth to this, I do think Disney and Lucasfilm would be all for it. I do think initially, no, they didn't want anything to really do with him back when he first sold. And I'm sure we have all heard or seen the interviews where Lucas says they really weren't interested in his ideas or getting his suggestions, and that he's treating the whole thing like a breakup where the last thing you want to do is drive by your ex's house or look them up on social media and see what they're up to these days. You can never move on with your life if you just keep checking on what happened in the past. We also know from Bob Iger's own book that, no, Disney wasn't all that interested in getting input from George Lucas. They even threw out his story treatments for the sequels, and they wanted to go their own way and do their own thing with it, and then Lucas even essentially called them unoriginal or called them out for not doing anything new with the sequel trilogy, and for a while there, it seemed like the two had some bad blood between them. Lucas at one point even called them white slavers. So yeah, you could understand why they didn't want Lucas back and why he didn't want to work with them anymore. However, it's been many years since all of that, so perhaps they have put it behind them, and yeah, maybe Lucas heard about some show they were thinking about doing, and he thought it sounded interesting, and he decided to do one last Star Wars project, and here we are. Maybe Disney even told him that if he comes out and publicly supports them during the recent proxy battle, which he did, he put a statement out there in support of Bob Iger, that they'll give him a show, or a show he wants to do. Who knows? I know that's kind of tinfoil hat conspiracy, I have nothing to back that up, but who knows what goes on behind the scenes with these very rich individuals. All I do know is that, yes, I would love to see George Lucas do one last Star Wars something, anything really. For him to even be somewhat heavily involved where he is truly making creative decisions would be amazing, I think. And yeah, I know not everyone is the biggest fan of him these days, after that aforementioned proxy fight where he, again, sided with Iger. But I'd just love to watch some George Lucas Star Wars one last time. Let him have one last hurrah. Though who knows if he actually wants to do this. He may not care all that much anymore. He may be truly beyond it or past all of it. I don't know that he wants to devote a ton of time to a project for a franchise that was once his but has moved on from him and honestly become something else for better or worse. I just don't know that he'd want to do that, and I don't know that, again, these remarks from Christian led me to believe this is anything more than his own speculation, or hearing someone in the know say Lucas seemed to take some interest in a project they have coming up. All I know is I'm not holding my breath for Lucas to come back, but I'd be more than happy if he did. 
But if I had to guess, I would say this probably isn't happening. I do think George Lucas is just kind of done with Star Wars. Not saying he doesn't love it. Not saying he wouldn't want to fix it if he had maybe more time if he were a younger man. But I just don't think at 80 years old his priority is to go back to Star Wars and to do a show or whatever it might be. Well, that is all I have for you this time. Now it is your turn to take to the comments below and tell me what you think or make of this one. Do you think there is any chance whatsoever George Lucas would come back to make a Star Wars series? And if so, how involved in it do you actually think he would be? Whatever the case might be, whatever you think, leave those comments below and let's talk some Star Wars. And so until next time, thanks for watching.